So this happens to be our first lesson on vectors. In today's video, we are going to look at equality of vectors. Two vectors are said to be equal if they have the same magnitude and direction. Two vectors are said to be equal if they have the same magnitude and direction. Now let's consider these two vectors, vectors A and B. Assuming that we have vector A acting due east and vector A has magnitude 5 units. Also, let's assume that vector B is acting parallel to vector A and also has magnitude of 5 units. Now, since the two vectors A and B have the same magnitude and direction, we say that the two vectors are equal vectors. So vectors A and B are equal vectors. In terms of their components, two vectors are said to be equal if their corresponding components are the same. Thus, if vector A has x and y components x1, y1 and vector b has x and y components x2 and then y2 now since the vectors a and b are equal then x1 is equal to x2 and y1 is also equal to y2 now one important thing you need to understand is that equal vectors may not necessarily start from the same point. However, they are still called equal vectors because the directed line segments are parallel. Now let's consider two vectors, vector AB and then vector CD. So this is point A, point B. We have the arrow showing the direction and then this is vector CD. Assuming that vector AB is parallel to vector CD, if the magnitude of vector AB is equal to the magnitude of vector CD, regardless of their starting point, the two vectors are considered as equal vectors. So equal vectors may not necessarily start from the same point. You realize that point A will be different from point C looking at the positions of A and C. However, if the magnitude of vector AB is the same as the magnitude of vector CD, provided that the two vectors are parallel, we say that they are equal vectors. Now let's consider some examples for better understanding of equality of vectors. Okay, so let's look at our first example for today. Example 1. If vector A is equal to 3x plus 1, 2y plus 3, and vector B is equal to negative 8, 5, find x and y if A and B are equal. Find the values of x and y if the vectors A and B are equal vectors. Now let's try this example together. Now we are told that vector A is equal to vector B. Hence, we say that we have vector A to be 3x plus 1, 2y plus 3. And that's equal to vector B, which is negative 8, 5. Now, since the two vectors are equal, then we can equate their corresponding components. So, x for x components and then y for y components. So, we have 3x plus 1. equals negative 8. Now let's work out to find the value of x. So we are going to transpose 1 to the right hand side. We have 3x equals negative 8 minus 1. This becomes 3x equals negative 9. Because we want to find the value of x, we divide through by 3. And then we have x to be equal to negative 3. 
Now for y, we have 2y plus 3 equals 5. We transpose 3 to the right hand side. We have 2y equals 5 minus 3. 2y equals 2. We divide through by 2. And then we have y to be equal to 1. Therefore, x is equal to negative 3 and y is equal to 1. So these are the values of x and y. Now let's move on to the second example. So let's take the second example. The column vectors p and q are defined by p equals 8 minus x, 6 minus y, and q equals x minus 4, y plus 2. Given that p is equal to q, find the value of x and y. We are going to find the values of x and y. So like in the previous example, since we are told that p is equal to q, we have the vector p to be 8 minus x, 6 minus y, and that should be equal to vector q, which is x minus 4, y plus 2. Now, since the two vectors are equal, we are going to equate their corresponding components. So, x for x components, y for y components. So, we have 8 minus x equals x minus 4. That's for the x components. We transpose negative x to the right-hand side, negative 4 to the left-hand side. So, we have 8 plus 4 equals x plus x. 8 plus 4 is 12. x plus x is 2x. We want to divide through by 2 so that we have x equals 6. Now for the y component, we have 6 minus y equals y plus 2. We transpose negative y to the right hand side, 2 to the left hand side. So this becomes 6 minus 2 equals y plus y. 6 minus 2, we have 4. y plus y is 2y. We divide through by 2. And then we have y to be equal to 2. Therefore, x is equal to 6. And y is equal to 2. So for example 3. If P is equal to A plus 3B minus 1 and Q is equal to negative 2, 3, find A and B if P is equal to Q. Find A and B if P is equal to Q. So we have P to be A plus 3B minus 1. We have Q to be negative 2, 3. So we are going to equate the two vectors. So thus we have a plus 3 B minus 1 equals negative 2 3 we are going to equate corresponding components a plus 3 equals negative 2 let's work out to find the value of a so we transpose 3 to the right hand side we have negative 2 minus 3 that's a is equal to negative 5. For the y component, we have b minus 1 equals 3. We transpose negative 1 to the right hand side. We have b equals 3 plus 1. And then we have b equals 4. Therefore, a is equal to negative 5. And b is equal to 4. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.